the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You don't know when it's time. So make haste like David said. Do you understand anything that came out? Some of it? So what's your nationality? Judah. So you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Do you understand how you know how we prove that? Do you understand how? Can you prove it? If somebody told you to prove it, can you prove it? You Job 8 and 8, and then I want you to get Daniel 9. I want you to check this out, because you need to be able to prove it. It's one thing to say it, but if you can't prove it, then what's the purpose of saying it? You know what right, right, right. Watch this, read. Job chapter 8, verse 8. Bring it out. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. So the Bible telling you to acquire the former age, right? The former age, this is our so this is the former age, these things that happen. The Bible, what the prophets wrote down was the former age. Watch this now. For we are but of yesterday. No, start again. Nehemiah Job 88. For inquire, I pray thee of the former age. And prepare thyself to the search of their father. So when you prepare yourself for the search of your father, these are your fathers. You got to read through the Bible. The Bible told us that we was going to lose our heritage. You understand? Give me day and night. I'm going to show you what happened, okay? Because the prophet Daniel, he told us something very important for you to understand exactly who you are. Right. Okay? Day and night. Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Read it out. Yeah. Oh, Israel has transgressed thy law. So all of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have committed sin. Right. Transgress means to go against. That's what sin is. The transgression of God's law. Oh, so all right. of us have done this, okay? Watch it. Even by departing that they may not obey thy voice. We didn't obey the voice. The, the God spoke to us through the prophets. We didn't want to hear what the prophets said. The pro Noah told them that if you didn't repent, you was going to die. God is about to flood the earth. Rain going to come out the sky. They're like, man, ain't no rain never come out the sky. What the hell is this dude coming? They want to listen. You understand? So what he did, he killed a whole lot of people. Guess what? That was babies too. Old people. You understand? Check it out. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Same thing Deuteronomy 28 and 15 said. If we did not keep God's commandments, curses would come upon us. You understand? Read. In the oath that is written in the law of Moses. In the law of Moses. Wasn't that Moses that prophesied this? You understand? We we told the Most High God, we said, all that you say we will do. You understand? Come on. The servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Come on. And he have confirmed his words. He confirmed his word. Meaning, what he said was going to happen, it shall happen. And he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. So the curses, he's telling you these curses is a great evil. Don't you think that it was evil as hell for these people to take our babies and bash their heads across the stone? Don't you think that's evil as hell for them to take our babies and feed them for gator bait? Right. right. To take your child out of your arms as soon as you have it and you never see it again. That's evil as hell. Right. Read. For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Did you hear what that just said, sis? Read it one more time for I don't think she heard it. For under the whole heaven. Under the whole heaven. That's talking about this sky here, okay? Under the whole sky. Right. Read. Have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. What's under the sky? This earth, right? So he said, upon this whole earth, none, nothing has been done to no other person but Jeru as it's been done to Jerusalem. That's which is right. talking about the children of Israel. That's so right. if all of these curses only happen to the children of Israel and we fit these curses, what must we be? Say it again. If he said the curses only, the great evil only happen to the children of Israel. If we fit these curses, who must we be? 
the children of Israel. That's right. That's right. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Because how did our people get here? How did we get here? What was the means of transportation of our people being in slavery and brought over here? What's your name again, sis? Nikita? I'll be Elisha. Nikita. How did you know anything about the slave trade? Not much? I know they stopped teaching this stuff in the school. That's right. You know why? Because we starting to wake up. Right. We starting to realize that those Negroes that got off them ships were not just some people that came from Africa. That's right. They was the greatest people that ever walked the planet Earth. That's right. They're actually God's chosen people, the people that he chose to be above all other nations on the planet Earth. Watch. Do the road me. Tell the 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the word Egypt, according to Exodus 20 and 2, means bondage. Right. So the Most High God said he's going to bring you back into bondage. Watch. By the way wherefore I spake unto thee. That's the part I was talking about. By the way whereof I spake unto you. This is how he confirmed his word. What's going on, bro? How you doing? Shalom. 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 What's your name, bro? Kishaya. Kishaya? Yeah. Okay. You been following us? Yes, sir. No, so you're Israelite. Yes. All praise it. All praise it. That's yes, what we teach. We oh, teach your sister how we know that we are the Israelites. The yeah. prophet Daniel said that the curses that came upon the so-called black Spanish Native Americans only happened to the children of Israel. Yeah. So that means that the so-called black Spanish Americans must be what? Ask that question one more time. Daniel said that the curses that came upon yes. the so-called black Spanish and Native Americans, right, those those curses only happened to the children of Israel. Yes. So that means we right. must be who? Right, the children of Israel. Yeah. You understand? Right. So I'm explaining to her Deuteronomy 28, 68. He said, say that again, give me that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the word Egypt means bondage according to Exodus 20 and 2, right? right. So he said, You're gonna go back into bondage. What's another word for bondage? Slavery. You got yokes of iron on your neck, you shackled up. You're in slavery. You understand? So he said you're going back into slavery by way of what? Again, with ships. With ships. There's no other nation on the planet that went into slavery on slave ships. Packed up like sardines. This happened to no other nation. Right. Right. Read on. By the way we are, I speak unto thee. The same way I said it's gonna happen, it shall can happen. That's what Daniel meant when he said he confirmed his word, right? Read. Thou shall see it no more again. You're not gonna see your homeland as a nation of people no more again. Cause now our people think that our homeland is the whole continent of Africa. Bring it out. That is not the land that God chose. What do you think? What's the land God chose for us, brother? Let's find out. Let's find out what the Bible says. Watch this. Listen, listen real closely, sis. Come on. Galatians chapter four, verse twenty-six. Yeah. But Jerusalem, which is a, which is above, is free. He said. Remember, pay attention. He said, but Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Right. So he's talking about Jerusalem. Watch this. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the what? Which is the mother of us all. So what land is our motherland? Read it again. You okay, Galatians 4.26 But Jerusalem which is above is free. Which is the mother of us all. So what's our motherland? You okay sir? So dealing with something? You sure? But that's what we are here for. We are here for our people. We understand that our people is going through some stuff. But the Most High God said this word is what's going to heal them. You understand? That's right. Give me, give me uh, Isaiah five and fifteen real quick. I want you to understand what you're going through is is purposed because the Most High God said in your affliction you're going to seek Him early. He's trying to get your attention. You ain't just standing here for nothing. The Most High God is trying to deal with you. You understand? Hosea, yeah, I said Isaiah, my bad. Come on. Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to.
to my place. That's when the Most High God said, you know what? If you don't keep my commandments, these curses going to come upon you. When he, when he go to his place, that's when these things happen to us. Right. But understand, this is the reason why. It wasn't to destroy us, but it's a purpose behind it. Watch it. Till they acknowledge their offense. To acknowledge your offense, that's your repentance. That's your returning to the Most High God to keep his commandments as an Israelite. Right. You paying attention? Cool. And seek my face. In to seek his face is out of this Bible. Like it said in Job 8 and 8, inquire of the form of age. You understand? Come on. In the affliction, they will seek me early. You happen to get up and catch the bus is an affliction to our people. All right. You're supposed to be a princess. At one point in time in your life, you was your feet didn't even touch the ground. That's how delicate you was. You know. Would you rather be a slave for a thousand years and die a horrible death? Or would you rather be a princess forever? Well, understand, in order for you to get back to that estate, there's some things you must do. Give me a repent uh, for the kingdom is at hand. What's that? Uh, Matthew 4. Matthew 4. 17. Come on. 17. Ma Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. Okay. Understand, on the back of that flyer is the website and the phone number. You need to call it. You need to make haste because Christ said what? Come on. Repent. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You don't know when it's time. So make haste like David said. My brother, how long you been known you as an Israelite? For two years? Two years. Two years. Okay. You understand? Yes. So you understand your Israelite? You understand yes. what tribe you come from and all that? Yes. The tribe of Judah. Tribe of Judah. Okay. All right. So you were French? No, sir. I just got out of prison. I'm just seeking to find my people. Okay. I'll pray. I'll pray. All right. So I'm, I'm going to show you some things to help you along the way. All right? I'll pray. Give me the numbers real quick. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38 oh, yeah. Speak unto the children of Israel So the children of Israel, you understand That's the so called black, Spanish, and Native Americans, right? He says, speak unto them, come on And beat them, that they make their fringes In the borders of their garment You understand what fringes is, right? Fringes in the borders of your garment, right? So it's all the way around the edge of your garment, okay? Come on Throughout their generation as long as we're still populating so th that means it's a perpetual thing it don't oh, stop right come on and that they put upon the fringe of the borders of ribbon of blue that's why you see all these brothers out here we got the fringes and then on top of the fringe a ribbon of blue now you say you just came home right so say you can't afford this right now guess what you can do you can take that shirt you can take a pair of scissors Go around the whole around the, around the whole border and cut your fringe. You gonna get you a ribbon of blue and put that on there. You don't know how to sew? Go get you some uh some of that non sew fabric glue. Put that thing on there. When you start to do these things, the Most High God will start to see. Okay, that brother feel me. Psalms one one nineteen and one twenty. Because you understand what it means to fear the Most High God, right? What does that mean? Listen to his commandments as much as possible. You know? Right. Because the whole purpose that we came is because we didn't do what? We didn't fear. Him. We didn't keep his commandments. Right. We didn't keep his commandments because we didn't fear. Him. I'm going to give this last scripture real quick. Watch this. Psalm chapter 119, verse 120. My flesh trembleth. If you scared, you be shaking. You, you ever been in a life threatening situation? But you wouldn't know it like that. So this is David talking. He said, my flesh trembleth, right? He said, he's scared, right? Watch this. For fear of thee. For fear of thee. That thee he's talking about is the most high God. Let's see why he's afraid or what he's afraid of. Watch this. I am afraid of thy judgment. Of the judgment. What the most high is going to do to you if you don't keep his commandments. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. 
Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.